Hey everyone, Swift Dice here, and welcome to episode 10 of Donkey Kong Country Returns. In the last episode, we did the ruins, finished it, beat Stu, beat up Gongo, all that jazz. And in this episode, we are beginning the caves, starting with 4 1 rickety rails. Let's jump right into this. Now, as you can see, this is the shortest world thus far. So, we're going to stick to our 2 to 3 level format. Dang, it's so short, we don't even get an intro to this world. It's like, what? We don't, we don't get our opening cinematic. But yeah, this world is so short, so we're still sticking to our 2 to 3 level format per episode. So, I don't know if I'm going to do the first puzzle piece. 2, 2, and 2. But the videos are going to be super short or just do three and three. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see how long this video spans. See what we'll do. Because I don't want it too short, but I don't want it too long. Because there's only five levels plus the boss. So only six things to do here. Anyway. The caves. Yes. Look at that tiki goon. They have made a whole level out of that minecart mechanic. Everyone so dearly loves in all the Donkey Kong games. It's a staple. So they're like, you know what? Since they're iconic to the Donkey Kong Country franchise, why don't we just make a whole world out of it? And so they did. But I'm not going to lie. This world is pretty tough. Which is probably why we're going to do two levels per episode. Because... I'll probably be dying. Uh, I know there's a puzzle piece. And it's a bonus room. Hooray. We are now confident the streak is over. I know I, I'm going to keep bringing this up, but I'm sorry. I'm proud, okay? That I broke the cursed bonus room streak. Here we go. Uh, we're doing good with these pieces so far. Because I, I am not the best with finding these puzzle pieces in this world. So. Yeah, but so far we're doing good. So far. Alright, and those bat looking things are called squeakly. But, surprisingly, even though they're bats in a Nintendo game, they are not that annoying, which is shocking. Because, you know, bats in Nintendo games are usually annoying as... Oh god, I barely got that. Anyway, <laughs> are super annoying, like Peace from Legend of Zelda, for example. Those are probably... <sighs> Zelda already has the most annoying enemies in gaming history, but that is just ridiculous. Okay, was it in here? I thought there was a puzzle piece there. Yeah. Just one. Oh well. There's one right there though. Yeah, Legend of Zelda, they have so uh, so many annoying enemies. Uh, don't even give me a shot. Anyway, we got all the combat. There was a puzzle piece there! Oh my gosh! I just... Whatever. I wanted the balloon. I knew there was a puzzle piece. Okay. Dang, we almost got them all first try. Alright, I'll see you guys with that fifth and final puzzle piece. Well, it was right under me the whole time. And it's a bonus room. Hooray! That's a good sign, right? Right? Ugh. Uh, I still can't believe you gotta get the bananas and the balloons. Like, come on. Uh, the balloons too, like in that one episode where I broke the street. And yes, I'm gonna keep talking about the street. Because I'm proud. Okay, let me be proud, okay? Of that, we got the final puzzle piece. Oh, I'll see you guys in the next level. Alright, done with rickety rails. Now 4 2 rip and trip. Now, for starters, I already know I'm not gonna get all the puzzle pieces first try. And another thing. I already know. 
I'm gonna die a lot in this level because this, oh man, this is pretty difficult. But you know, all we gotta do is believe in the power of the crystal coconut and we got this. See, first puzzle piece already. On to a nice little start here. But then stuff like that happens. Got a balloon, instantly lost my life. So I guess it's a fair trade off. I mean, really. And then that happens because my finger slipped. Okay. Aye, aye, aye. This is going to be an interesting level. This might be the level that makes us do the two two level per episode for fan in this world because I'm gonna die so much. There we go. This level is brutal with the con letters too because oh. Oh. the checkpoint is so far away. So if you die, you gotta get to it again. On this one. Lord. Okay, we got it. I don't know why I said, oh Lord, when we had that in the bag. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, next goal is try not to die and get the remaining puzzle pieces. And I did the complete opposite of what I just said. But, to be fair, I died on purpose so I can get those puzzle pieces. So, I'm mean, gonna die. Singular puzzle piece. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, I died on purpose, but I find it funny that I literally did the complete opposite of what I just said. I said, don't die and get the remaining puzzle pieces. I missed the puzzle piece and I died. Of course. Anyway. And we missed the letter. Uh, this is going to be a death montage. You know what? No, I don't have to pull out the montage music today. Not, not today. But if I, if I have to, I will. But I don't think I do. Unfortunately, for me at least, I like the montage music. I don't music. I don't know how you guys feel about it. There is that letter K. We got the puzzle piece, but we died. That's why I'm thankful you keep puzzle pieces, but you don't keep Kong letters if you die. Which is, like, again, like I said multiple times, I think it's a fair trade off. It adds to that challenge. And the game can't be too serious now. This is a Donkey Kong we're talking about. These games are pretty tough. Two levels this episode. Hey, I'm racking up lies though. But at the same time, I'm losing lies, so it's like. Hey, we should not have to kill ourselves because the next puzzle piece is right next to the checkpoint. Checkpoint should be coming soon. There goes the letter O. And we have to hang on. Who is driving or, or conducting rather this train? It must be automatic train. There goes the fourth puzzle piece. Now that fifth one, I'm probably going to miss. I don't know where that is. But hey, at least we got the checkpoint, so. That's all that matters. Donkey Kong's feet must hurt standing on that mine car with nothing but nothing but that. But no, seriously, nothing but um. It looks like diamond. I'm probably wrong, but yeah, nothing but diamond. And the fact that his feet are on the edge of the mine car too it makes him look like a badass, but at the same time, 
makes it look like his feet hurt. But it's Donkey Kong. He's fine. He, he, he has done stronger feats. He can put his feet on his Thank you, little buddy. And there goes the fifth and final puzzle piece. Never mind. I guess they give the fifth one to you. That's a, that's a good thing to me. But I have to die. Because the letter G is in the back. So that's why I had to die. And no, why are you doing this? I don't want whatever you're doing. Alright, if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself in the description or in the video. But pretty sure when he does that, when you die multiple times... That's when you get super calm, the white Nuki Kong. It's basically like white Nuki Mario. It's basically a way to help you if you're stuck. Yes, I have used it as a kid, but I'm not going to use it in this let's play because we, we, we really don't need it. Or do we? I don't know. But they also do something similar in uh, Super Mario 3D World uh, Land, sorry. Oh well, probably both of them. Or you got White Tanuki Mario to help you. And in the new Super Mario Bros. game, ask Luigi for help, I think? I don't know. I know in New Super Luigi, you ask Mario for help, right? Or change the Mario Physiognomy. You know, I'll put all this in the description. Because I remember those, um, Call Luigi means that's why I said that. Why do I keep missing that one Tiki Buzz? Oh my goodness. Yeah, basically, Professor Charles wants us to use help. We don't need help. Now, I'm not blaming anyone or calling out anybody that uses help like that. Is it set a uh, accessibility? Accessibility or accessibility? I can't even speak, I'm dying so much. But basically, helping people with the game is not a bad thing, okay? That's actually a good thing. I encourage it. Because it, you know, I'm not one of those gamers that's like, oh, you have to do hard mode, you have to play like this. No, no, if it makes the game easier for you, I'm all with it. As long as you get to experience the game the way you want to. But me personally, I just play on hard mode for you guys' entertainment. And I think I've been playing video games long enough that I think I can play. But by the way I'm playing in this level, it looks like I'm not, I can't. So. There, finally got it. Good. And we got the letter G. And with that, finally done with this level. Can we at least get the banana slammer? Oh no, we did not jump to the banana. But yeah, anyway. That. And let's see what time we're at. Okay, since I know the next level is short, I'm going to go three for three. So we're going to do three this episode and two levels next episode in the boss. Or something. I know this level is short. I do not remember the puzzle pieces, however. So we're probably going to have to, you know, cut to it, but, you know. Ooh, banana. And banana coin. And we have to avoid these sharp crystals. Well, there goes the first one we missed. And bombs away from the mole. There's a banana down there, that's probably it's Yep. Another puzzle piece we just This game really throwing this puzzle pieces in our face. Making me feel kinda bad. We got that one though. Yeah, we got that. Yeah. 
Alright, what do you got for us, Mo? See, but I'm doing this level flawlessly, so... I hope this proves to you guys that I'm actually good at video games. I like the music and stuff, it's always very... Yeah, I did that one first try. I, I told you guys I'm good at video games, okay? And hey, I know where all the puzzle pieces are at now, I just gotta get them. And that was pretty easy. Even got me humming to the bonus music. That's how easy it was. Alright. That being all done and said. Got it. Yeah. And you cannot exceed 15, unfortunately. I looked up videos and stuff. You can't do it. But hey. Never say never. But with that being said. Let me get the other two remaining puzzle pieces. Well, I was so focused on getting that puzzle piece that I forgot to record it. But as you guys can see, I just got it because the puzzle piece came in the left corner. Let me go get that other one and make sure I record it this time. All right, here we go. Last and final puzzle piece that we missed. All right, see you guys in the next level. Did I say see you guys in the next one? Nope, we are done. For this episode. I don't know why I said see you guys in the next level. But whew, we are done with the caves. Well, the first half of the caves. For now. In the next episode, we'll be doing the second half. I'm gonna talk to Cranky. I'm gonna do 4 5 Crowded Cavern, whatever that level is behind the key. And the boss of this world. And then that's it for the cave. It's a pretty short world, but. Ugh. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Without further ado, Swift Dice out.